hydrogen bonding. Hydrogen bonding simply is just a strong form of a dipole-dipole bond. And it occurs when hydrogen bonds to either nitrogen, oxygen, or fluorine. And if you have a look at these, you will see that these have got a high electronegativity and hydrogen's got a lower electronegativity. Thus, this will create quite a big differential between the positive and the negative. And this is what causes it to be a strong form of dipole-dipole force. If we have a look at a water molecule, and of course, inside the water molecule, we have strong covalent bonds, and they're the intra molecular bonds within the molecule. The interaction now between the two water molecules will be an intermolecular bond and they will be hydrogen bonds. And this occurs because you have oxygen covalently bonded to hydrogen. And the hydrogen bonding, though, is between the molecules. It is an intermolecular bond. Each water molecule can form four hydrogen bonds, and it forms a crystalline lattice. This is really important with water's properties and water's structure, and we actually spend a whole unit talking about water down the track. So hydrogen bonds are stronger than normal dipole-dipole attractions, and this means higher melting temperatures. And if we have a look at two different molecules here, we've got water, which melts at 100 degrees Celsius, and water, of course, has hydrogen bonds, and we've got hydrogen sulfide, which doesn't have hydrogen bonds, and you can see here it's got a much lower melting temperature.